Eso. Um, okay, uh, I want to watch, not the documentary on U.S. evangelicals, which, oh, that's kind of cool. Evangelical Christians in the USA documentary by D. Deutsche Welle. Oh, oh my, oh my God. This is going to be a very good video, yeah. The Deutsch, the Germans are very good at uh, cutting these videos, these long documentaries on uh, the Americanish experience, you know. Um, what I want to watch is the abortion, the Aborabo, the Aborabo, the YouTube family that, uh, did a fucking, that just like unceremoniously and very randomly dropped like an anti-abortion, uh, uh, video and it got like millions and millions of views. Wait, serious question. I thought you were more liberal. Why are you pro-life? Dude, you think I'm pro-life? I'm literally anti-life, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm I'm straight up a fucking anti-natalist, okay? <laughs> no, I love abortions. Um I I love abortions and also uh I love that this one is just called abortion, period. And then in parentheses, documentary. So this is the LeBrant fam. I don't know anything about them, but like just looking at this shows me that like they're family YouTubers and they're fucking freaks, okay? If you're a family YouTuber, very likely you're a fucking freak, okay? CPS should take your children away and then uh, give the children to a LGBT family or something because uh, you are, you know, it's scary. It's incredibly fucking scary. Family YouTubers are scary, but <clears throat> family YouTubers are scary to begin with, but they are incredibly scary. I mean, first of all, they look too perfect. It's freaking me out. 13 million subscribers. Oh my Lord. My guy, guy from my hometown is best friends with these people. They're awful. Okay. Um, uh, my bad. That was sarcasm. You thought I am not like the biggest fan of abortions. Dog, I literally fucking raised like $160,000 so that women... Uh, in underserved communities in red states and shit can still be able to get abortions. I am I am Allah's greatest soldier on abortions, okay? His most willing warrior. I will I am the abortion jihadist. Straight up. I'm Mr. Abortion. He was a virgin before he met her. I think he's still a virgin. He looks like one. Um Family YouTubers are scary, but so are the top of the hour ads. Wait, I already ran one, didn't I? <laughs> um, uh, hold on. Let me tweet out that I'm watching this. Watching the crazy... Christian uh, family YouTube abortion documentary gone sexual. Okay, I'm going to say, actually, you know what? I'm going to say emotional instead of gone sexual. Because, like, parentheses. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's the same family that pretended their kids had cancer? Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? Give me the sauce right now. Give me the juice. Give me the sauce. Give me the juice. Give me the sauce. Give me the juice. Give me the sauce. Please. Please, dude. Hit me with the fucking linky, okay? I need to know. No fucking shot they did that. Prepare yourself because this is one of the dumbest videos you've ever seen. Dude. Oh, man. I love that. Injected directly into my... This is my heroin, dude. Okay? This is literally black tar fucking heroin for me. These family channels are insane. Their daughter's Instagram analytics is 70% grown men. That's disgusting. All ad revenue made from this video will be directly donated to abortion or family pregnancy clinics or whatever. 
Hey, this is Jesse LeBron. I'm the baby in the video. Please don't watch this. <laughs> Ew, look at how ugly that thing is, dude. 18 weeks. Ew, dude. Ew, ew. Yuck. Abortion has been arguably the most polarizing, heated, and controversial civil rights issue since 19. My man said polarizing, heated, and controversial. So first and foremost, no, it's not. 70% of the country agrees that it's the fucking fine and valid for women to be able to get a borobo whenever they want to, okay? But especially in the first trimester without government interference. So no, it's not controversial. It's only controversial for you because you're a fucking annoying little shit freak, okay? You're a shit stain on the planet. It is not polarizing when something is literally fucking 70 percent overwhelming majority of people are like no that's great it's not 50 50 70 30 is not 50 50 i know some of you motherfuckers unironically think you know al-qaeda and and uh and algebra uh, are a little too close to comfort so you homeschool your children and you avoid mathematics because you know islam uh and and, and its golden age founded the fucking number zero but uh, you know 70 30 is not 50 50 1973, when abortion was legalized in the U.S. There is so much passion on either side of the topic and seems to be no middle ground and virtually no humane conversations. <laughs> so much anger and so much hate. In the midst of it all, we truly believe that love is the answer. Instead of pro-life or pro-choice, is it possible for us to be pro-love? Fuck, fuck off, dude. Oh, they're hitting it with a centrist attitude. Love is the answer. What is this like new wave shit, dude? Oh, yeah, I am pro-love. I love abortions, okay? I'm a fan. I like, I like having abortions. I like having, uh, you know, people have abortions. I like, I love thinking about the, the access that people have to abortions. It gets me going, okay? So that's what I'm into, all right? I love abortions. Is it possible for us to love both the mother and the baby? Maybe the answer isn't either or, but rather- Stop it. They're, dude, one minute in and they're already fucking saying that it's worse than the Holocaust? Dude, this is awesome. Come on. Come on, dude. That's awesome. That's great. They didn't even wait. Like- this is something that they teach people not to say in abortion, in like anti-abortion camps. Okay? They literally tell you like, hey, uh, we know your worldview is psychotic and we don't want you to come across like a fucking freak. Okay? Like a freakazoid. Um, like an absolute insane person. So please don't compare it to the Holocaust. But these motherfuckers were like, YOLO, right out the gate. Uh, why can't we do love also? Uh, abortions worse than the Holocaust. Thank you. Bro, the anti-abortion activists in my area say it's 10 times worse than the Holocaust all the time. Well, that's the thing. Like, so there are abortion, uh, uh, there are anti-abortion activist groups that literally try to train people to not say that freakazoid shit, but they can't stop themselves. They're literally like, no, I'm, I'm going to fucking say it. I'm literally going to say it because I'm fucking deranged. Okay. You can't stop me. I'm psychopathic. I'm an insane person. Good luck trying to stop me from saying that. Both. I have my personal convictions. You have yours. We're all so different. And Dude, I love this. Like, you can't fucking be like, I just want to have a reasonable discussion surrounding this conversation and then start off by being like, abortions are like 10 times worse than the Holocaust. Like, the, you're not having a fucking reasonable conversation with a person who is just insane. <laughs> that's okay. But where is God's heart at? Where is the truth and peace? Okay, that looks like a fucking freak, dude. That doesn't look like a baby. Abort that thing. If that thing came out of you, you'd be like, kill it. Kill it now. Okay, shut the fuck up. What is this like? It doesn't even look like a human. It looks like a fucking alien, dude. Amidst all the chaos and lies, we want to go on a journey to find out the truth and to find out how we could actually help. God, babies are make so a ugly. Instead of just adding more noise to an already deafening discussion.
So what if you're watching this and you're thinking, should I keep my baby even though it's too hard? As a matter of fact, I was in that position. I was 19 when I got pregnant with Everly and I remember just being so scared. And I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was actually in school and college and I didn't, I was too scared to tell my family. I was too- Dude, this is my favorite thing. It's like, I kept my baby so you have to as well. Like, you have to literally, I'm gonna force you to carry pregnancy as the term. Like, fuck you, dude. Hey, shut up, dumbass. Just because you fucking had it, your dumbass child that you're probably fucking giving brain rot to that you can exploit for fucking YouTube clicks doesn't mean everyone else is destined for that same future, okay? Did you just say Everly? Is, that, is her name fucking Everly, dude? Stop. Of course it's Everly. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy fuck. Oh. <clears throat> too scared to tell my friends it was just a lot for me to take in being so young i remember those moments just being so terrified of just like what the future would look like what my life was going to look like um just so many things going through my head at that moment and just knowing how hard it was going to be but ultimately in the end how worth it it was going to be looking back now um i know for me personally my choice was always to keep my baby i do think that like unironically white people need to like be oppressed a little bit like because this is how you arrive at like wasps you know uh pumping out like eight fucking you know mccallanenies or whatever the fuck they're naming their children nowadays like you just like this is what happens when you don't face like significant sh uh, struggle like you have to a little bit so you shut the fuck up and like not make being a baby incubator your entire personality like just what a fucking ridiculous thing. What a what a psychotic thing to just be like, uh-huh, actually, I've decided, like, this is my thing. Just, like, a little bit, dude. Just a little struggle. A, a little bit. Baby, but I also know that for others, there are choices. Yeah, white people will, like, make fun of black people naming their uh, uh, children whatever they want to name them and then turn around and literally fucking name their children, like, Michaela. Michaela Naney, uh, like, okay, well, that's way weirder. Okay, how about that? Bever, Bever Kaylee. Oh God, Christian music is so fucking whack, dude. Yikes. In America, over 2,000 abortions happen every day. Woo! Let's go! We need, to, we need to pump those numbers up, boys. Yo, we're slacking, dude. Americans are not fucking enough, okay? Straight up. Every day in America, 100 people die in car accidents. 1,300 people die from smoking. 1,800 people die from heart disease, the leading cause of death in the U.S., according to the CDC. Is abortions. She's going to say abortions. But there's another, even more deadly killer than heart disease. Abortions. By definition, abortion is when a pregnancy is ended so that it doesn't result in the birth of a child. Okay, what the fuck? Yo, these guys are awesome, dude. They're doing like... My, my, my man started with a Webster's Dictionary definition of abortion is when a pregnancy is ended. Like, he's at a fucking wedding, dude. Like, he's doing Toastmasters over here. That's awesome. Respect. He, they're, they're, they're really... This is great. This is awesome. It's awesome. I, I love this. So I as love we've this been so filming this documentary, we've been asked by our friends, by family, by mentors, why are we making this? So there's so much at risk. Why are we even making this? Why are we adding flame to an already crazy burning fire? And the answer is just if one baby is saved from this, if one mom chooses to keep her baby from it, then it's all worth it. Mm -hmm. this Dude, actually, like, I, I really do think this is like a mental illness. I I'm serious. Like, if you are this, like, aggressively in favor of, like, you know, making sure that, like, women have to carry pregnancy as a term, like, you do have, like, a severe, like, conservatism really is a very unique, like, brain disease. It blows my mind. You're like, no, like, you have to. I'm saving a baby. It's like, dude, what the fuck?
What the fuck? You like your life is so comfy. It's so comfy that you chose to drop everything and make this your cause, dude. Like, go deal with the fucking cigarette thing. You know what I mean? You pointed to it. You pointed to the fucking heart disease. Go deal with that. What's wrong with you? You were like, nah, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to decide that, like, everybody else has to live by my rules. Okay, fuck you. Documentary by no means is trying to <clears throat> illegalize abortion. After this documentary, you're still going to have the choice. Yeah. You're still going to have your choice. But I know that there's going to be one mom watching, maybe five, maybe ten, maybe a hundred, maybe a thousand. We have no idea the ripple effects but just for you guys to know all the resources out there and also for us as a church and just just me and cole even mm -hmm. just that how much more we need to be doing we want to go into this finding out what resources are available for women that you might not know about are there resources <clears throat> you know in your city if mm -hmm. not is there something that the church should be doing that you watching should be doing maybe you aren't pregnant maybe you aren't the one Facing the question of whether I'm going to have an abortion or not, but you're thinking. This weenie used to make those shirtless grind on me vines. Hit me with the sauce. Give me the juice right now. Sauce me up. Sauce me up. I need the slurp juice on this. Please. I want to fucking make multiple apes off of the slurp juice of this dude's old fucking vine videos. Oh, fuck me. Oh my God. I need to see that so bad. Holy shit. 20. Cool. LeBrant. That thing, she gonna pop the. <laughs> Hey, loser! Dude, he's got your ball. Run! That gets crazy. I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare! Somebody's gotta tell him. Tyrone, you notice your baby! Father? Oh! 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 Dude, it took 44 seconds. This is an 18 minute video. 44 seconds in, he's just like horrifyingly racist. At least he didn't do blackface. I mean, he did everything but. An old Cole tweet. Let's see. Cole Bryant, remember when you tweeted this about Victoria Beckham and David Beckham's daughter and the pictures and exploitation you post and do it to your children? Funny you'd be posting this on IG. Hmm. I have a lot to say and so much my wife and I want to stand up and fight against regarding child sex trafficking in two weeks in the NICU. It did a lot of research. Oh, God. He's like, is he like a QAnon guy? I may just wait 20 years for David Beckham's three-year-old daughter because God knows she's going to be gorgeous. <sighs> That's what? What a weird thing to say. I mean... What the fuck? Oh no, dude. Oh no. This guy is like the per he's the trifecta. Okay, I won't. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Run. dude we literally like oh we just straight up didn't change at all oh my god vine is literally the same you just had like fucking mid-ass like quirked up white boys who were jacked for uh their own you know uh era to exploiting black culture and and also simultaneously being racist like it's literally the exact same shit And for all the fucking, for all the, the, the white folk in the chat that are watching, this is an opportunity for you to once again understand and remind yourself that like, 
if you see like a lot of resentment or anger from black Twitter or black people on the internet, like just this is this is a part of daily existence. Okay, this is happening now. It's been happening in the past. It hasn't stopped happening. There's just different variations of it. So that's understandable why uh, people are you know upset and angry. You only realizing this now? TikTok been a carbon copy of Vine. I've never actually watched uh, Vine, and I didn't really watch TikTok either. What? I mean, this dude's been like exploiting kids since he was a kid, it seems like. You know what I mean? Baby, won't you come my way? What does the box say? Cole, can you take the trash out? Cole, Jack, can you get that? Yeah. It feels good to be a gangster. Imagination. <laughs> He wants to ban abortion so he doesn't run out of content. Yeah, I mean, he's literally doing like... My man has got fucking alpha brain, okay? He's behaving like... He's behaving like a family that uh, needs to fucking toil the land, okay? And uh, some of the kids aren't making it. And our, and our fucking, like, you know, child mortality rate is pretty fucking high in America. So he's basically trying to make sure that, like, the baby supply doesn't fucking run out. Because babies are incredibly important for him because he can make content out of those babies. Thinking, what more can I do? What, how can I better help? How can I better stand with these women and for these women? Um, so we're going into this thinking, how can we help more? What more can we do? Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to find out. Yeah. So what happens during an abortion? In private practice, I performed just under 1,200 aboard. This is why we can't make Italians doctors, okay? I mean, there you go. Motherfuckers out here looking like a, a villain, in, in Dr. Strange villain, okay? Abortions, including first and second trimester abortions, up to 24 weeks of gestation. So I feel like one of the most important questions that everybody asks is, when does life begin? <laughs> and if we had a direct answer, then I feel like this wouldn't even be... A conversation because if we could all agree that life began at a certain point then abortion should be allowed before that point and not allowed after in your professional opinion when when would you say life begins it's such a simple question with such a complicated answer mm -hmm. uh -huh. a human egg is fertilized by a sperm and that is a single cell organism that has a unique genetic makeup that is the first so at fertilization you have a living cell that has that unique genetic pattern so on that basis human life begins at fertilization yeah but a lot happens after that it gets complicated but i really do believe that a human life that human life that individual human being with that unique genetic signature starts at fertilization. People think of doctors as so smart. We're no different than anyone else. When you figure out... By the way, that attitude, before he mentioned the complicated thing, like, isn't that... I mean, that's like cancer cells. Uh, 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 like, you know what I mean? Okay, I guess like... Pray the cancer away, but like technically you're like praying for an abortion. What the fuck? It's so stupid. What a fucking idiotic take. Also, so many miscarriages happen in this process. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? There's no guarantee. Here, not here, that killing a baby this big for money is wrong. For money? What do you, what do you, who, where's the money? Why do they keep acting like there's this fucking industry of, like, dead babies, dude? Fucking brain broken, dude. Well, Killing a baby this big for money is wrong. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, it's fine. They're doing it for free, okay? I'll do it for free. It doesn't take you too long to figure out it. It doesn't matter if the baby is this big or this big or even this big. It's That's not a baby! That's not a fucking baby, dude!
If it's this big, it's nothing. What the fuck's wrong with you? All the same. I love what Dr. Levitino said, that whenever we start saying, like, at what size is it a human baby, it's like, well, what size is a human a human? Gross. Literally fucking gross. Also, the funny thing about this is that they're literally fucking lying to you or they're superimposing this. Like they're they're like that thing that they're zooming into, okay? That thing. That thing that they're fucking zooming into is not only non-viable, but also the size of like this, okay? They're like literally talking about something that's like fucking like a chicken nugget, okay? They can try to like recreate it and make it seem like it's actually a fucking real baby inside of you, but it's nothing at that point. Like, this is completely made up anyway. Bro, that's my NFT. You know, whenever you realize that a, a baby this big, this big, and this big is a baby, it doesn't matter if it's this big or this big. Mm -hmm. You know, like if we're going based off of size, our baby- What the fuck is that? What is this gross shit, dude? What? Bro, they, dude, abortion activists are so awesome, dude. They're such fucking freaks, dude. Yum. Kill it. Kill it. Kill whatever the fuck that thing is, okay? Kill it. I would kill that thing. Well, just kidding. You don't need to kill it because it's already fucking dead. Not a thing. Why don't conservatives count my sperm as life? My sperm be jiggling like a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, dude. If I saw this in my house, I'd burn the whole house. I don't understand. I mean, I guess, like, this confuses and, like, scares stupid people. Because, like, the entire purpose of this is that, like... Uh, the entire purpose of this, the confirmation bias is insane. Yeah, exactly. But... There are probably people at the edges who, like, you know, there's a lot of stupid people, guys. There's a lot of really stupid people, especially, like, a lot of people who, like, unironically watch family YouTubers are probably dumb as fuck, right? And not because they're, like, looking at these freaks from afar and being like, wow, what, what kind of child abuse are they going to do next? Um, so, so basically, uh, you know, those stupid people are going to watch this and go probably, like, oh, my God, I had no idea. Like, this is actually what it looks like you know what i mean i can i can totally see i mean this got 3.5 million views i can totally see some people l like literally believing this shit like most people are not going to look at this and go yeah this is fucking insane and made up and gross baby in the womb right now she said was like as you know, the tip of my finger, but we saw little arms and legs on our ultrasound. And the baby was moving around. The baby was moving. And she's resting, just chilling with her arm up right of there. Course. Of course she is. We're excited to sit down with Dr. Kathy Altman and hear her story on this topic. So I feel like a lot of people watching or listening might not know how abortions are performed, you know? I, I think the, y you hear- Oh, let me guess, they're gonna fucking lie too. They're gonna talk about like the suction method and shit like that. Bro, listen, listen. Uh, before we get into this, let me just describe it, okay? 90% of abortions happen in the first trimester and you go to Planned Parenthood and you fucking take a pill and you just basically have a heavy flow period, okay? Um, if it doesn't take like that, then also there is a little bit of suction happening that like takes the fucking, uh, uh, takes the miscarriage out basically, or like, uh, I guess the, the blood, but it doesn't, it's not like an actual fucking literal baby coming out of you. It's just blood. It looks like a heavy flow period. Okay. That's what the suction is sucking out. So no matter what they fucking say and make it seem like that's actually like a human being or whatever, it's a lie. I'm letting you know that that is absolutely a fucking lie. Okay. pro-choice and it sounds right because it's like oh well the mother should be able to decide whether to keep or not keep but they don't understand what not keep means 
Well, most people don't realize it, but any OBGYN has to learn how to do abortions in their residency program. You can opt out because of conscience, but I didn't because I was really very pro-abortion. I so you're, okay, so you're a murderer, got had it. I had an abortion myself, and I didn't think any woman should have to bear a child she didn't want. In our training program, we learned how to do... So you were normal. What happened? You get in a fucking traffic accident or something? Like, what broke your brain, lady? Trimester abortions, but I was so gung-ho that I went outside of the program and got one of the local abortionists to show me how to do D&E abortions, which are also known as dismemberment abortions, where... You literally take the baby apart piece by piece to remove it from the uterus. Mm, delicious. In the first trimester, that involves um, putting some local anesthetic in the cervix. And after you have the opening large enough, you insert a little tube and you go around just like a little vacuum. Bro, that in the first trimester, that's what the baby looks like? That involves, that's a baby in the first trimester? That's, what, that's what's going on? Get the fuck out of here. They're, they're they're saying the baby's moving. It's like a full-blown baby. They're so psychotic, dude. Anesthetic. Why are they such fucking lying pieces of shit? Oh, my Lord. In the cervix. And after you have the opening... Like, the baby's bigger than the tube. Yeah, as the, as the chatter pointed out. The baby's, like, bigger than the fucking tube itself. Get the fuck out of here. Little tube. And you go around just like a little vacuum cleaner and suck out the suck out the pregnancy yeah exactly if your fucking fetus can get owned by a little suction tube okay if i can shove a fucking straw in your pussy and suck the suck the fetus out then you know it's gonna die okay sorry ggs that's not a human being that's weak as fuck okay only the strong survive baby let's go yeah like boba tea suck it out like boba tea okay get a big straw get one of those big ones And the, the the baby is sort of torn apart as it's going through the hole because it's bigger. Bro, you need an alt Twitch account? Yeah, this is like one of those issues where I need to be covering with my on my alt Twitch. Placenta goes through, and then you check to make sure there's nothing left, and that's the end. Yeah. And then for second trimester, it's a little bit more involved. Oftentimes you have to at this point we're talking about first of all they lied about the first trimester with like they they make it seem like it's like a full blown fully developed fucking baby that's like moving around and shit and has like viability outside of uh uh, uh viability outside of the fucking feed like exactly thank you this is what it actually fucking looks like okay that's not a child motherfucker that like you're you're psychotic you're such a liar that is a fucking freak okay. That's a seahorse freak. You see that shit in the wild? You're burning it with a fire, okay? Let's be real. A forbidden dumpling? <laughs> So the idea, so, okay, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, let me just explain something to you, okay? Like, there's a reason why they're just lying and making it seem as though it, it's actually like a fucking human, you know what I mean? They want to make you feel something about this thing, okay? Like, even this kind of a hyper-focus on it alone, I think is like unnecessary in this situation, because it's just not a thing, like, it's not real, it's a fetus, it's different. Okay. And ultimately, what is important in the circumstance is the autonomy of the carrier. If your shit's the size of a fucking gummy bear and deform like this, that's not like, you know, no matter how much these motherfuckers lie, like, that's not the case. Okay. It's just like, it's a cell. To um, dilate the cervix ahead of time because if you try to mechanically dilate the cervix, it can lead to damage to the cervix then you just reach in with a heavy-duty clamp
Here, yeah, exactly. Week eight, baby nose is forming. Week nine, baby's toes are appearing by the ninth week of pregnancy, seventh week after conception. Your baby's arms and elbows appear. Toes are visible in the eyelids and forms. By the end of this week, your baby might be a little less than three, uh, three quarters of an inch. The diameter of a U.S. penny, chat. Okay. It's literally the size of a penny. Okay? So when they make it seem like your baby's in there fucking wiggling and shit, that's not real. All right? It's just like a fucking made up thing. That's why you can literally fucking suck it out with a tube. Okay? And it comes out like a fucking heavy flow period. There's no like little baby that you can actually like see or anything like that. Okay? Remember that. Oh, God, if you got to carry a little tumor alien, they should have the choice to turn it into goop. Oh, and yeah, for the record, like, they look exactly the same uh, in the, at the fetus uh, level. There you go. How do you counter the argument that regardless of the trimester, in the end, it's still a human? It's still a Kyle or Cindy regardless of when you abort? Wait, what? No, it's not. It, it quite literally is not. This is not a guarantee to turn into this or a human being for that matter. Okay? There's no guarantee that it's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? This, turning into this, is the consent of the carrier. Okay, that's it. That's the only way this turns into this. That's it. That's it. Without consent of the carrier, this is never going to turn into this. Because the carrier can literally fucking end it, okay? Can terminate it. That's why people say there's no such thing as, as uh, you know, eliminating abortions only eliminating safe abortions, okay? 10 to 20% of pregnancies are spontaneously aborted, aka miscarried, before 20 weeks. Do you understand the reason why that doctor became anti abortion? Altman says three encounters she had with abortion patients on her last day performing the procedure remained seared in her memory. The first patient was young. Altman recognized her because she had already performed three abortions on her. I went to the administration and I said, I don't want to do this abortion. I've already, uh, I've already personally done three on her. And they said, well, that's not up to you. It's her right and you can't discriminate against her. And I looked at them and I said, yeah, well, that's fine for you, but you're not the one doing the killing. Altman performed the abortion that day, but it was the first time Altman had associated abortion with the word killing, and she took note of it. A second patient came in for an abortion, and she brought a friend for support. After the abortion, the friend asked the patient if she would like to see the aborted baby, and she said, no, I just want to kill it, Altman recalled. And it just struck me, you know? How could she be so hostile and angry towards this little baby? Okay, this is a fucking insane story. Why would you want to see? What? I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. Who the fuck would be like, if someone was like, hey, do you want to see it? You'd be like, no, no, I don't. You fucking psycho. Why would I? What the fuck is wrong with you? Get away from me. What are you going to do? Eat it? Are you going to slurp it, dude? Like a slurp juice turning fucking apes into three apes. If you use the slurp juice, <laughs> what the fuck? And she said, no, I just want to kill it. All my recall. A third patient came in for an abortion. She already had four children, but she and her husband decided they couldn't afford another child. Altman rem uh, remembers a patient cried during the entire abortion. That was the final straw for Altman, the last abortion she would perform. This is a, a terrible origin story, dude. You could have fucking, if you're going to make something up, you could have made up a much better origin story than this. So yeah, as we were saying, literally the size of a penny, by the way. She's talking about a fucking, like the size of a penny. Grab whatever you can grab, uh, an arm or a leg usually. And as you're... Pulling it through the cervix, the body's I love too this. big, so it's not going to come. And so, with enough traction and twisting, the arm or the leg comes off. By the way, just one thing that I want to describe to you, aside from this like fake ass cartoon, one thing I want to describe to you is this. Okay, every single medical procedure is this disgusting. Okay, have you ever seen? I'm a freak. 
I'm a psycho. So I watch, I, I, I follow uh, an Instagram called like, I think it's like med school posts or something. And they regularly show you what happens to people when they're in a car accident or they regularly show you surgeries. It's nasty as fuck. Okay. You can describe literally every medical surgery this way. Are you going to turn around and advocate to like not have a fucking uh, bypass, you know? Uh, let me describe it to you. Do you know how a fucking heart surgery, you know how open heart surgery works? They break your fucking ribs, dog. They break your ribs with a fucking mallet, okay? They they use a, 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 a fucking saw to like cut your fucking chest open, okay? And then they pick it apart like this. They pick it apart like this and they open you up, okay? And then they fucking take your heart out. That's disgusting, but no one is advocating to stop that from happening, okay? Because that would be fucking insane. That would be insane. You can describe it in the exact same way, though, and gross people out and scare them, but it doesn't change the reality that it is a medical procedure. You are describing a medical procedure, okay? There you go. Depends on who you ask because Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe in surgery or medical intervention. They're literally against it. If you die, you die. It's up to God in their eyes. Yeah, it's fucking insane. <sighs> anyway. And you do that until you've got everything you can. And then you have to reach up and try to crush the bigger parts. So like the chest um, and eventually. Just asking, isn't trimester, isn't the first trimester three months? She was asking about first trimester abortion methods, but what's worse is that 24 weeks is a six month. That's literally a baby. No, it's not. It still doesn't have fucking viability outside of the fetus. I mean, I guess it, like at certain points it can, but ultimately it doesn't matter because second trimester abortions are oftentimes happening as a consequence of people not having fucking access. It's still incredibly rare, and it's not happening as a consequence of like uh, someone being like, oh, I want to have... I, I've decided, like, yeah, I fucking wanted to, like, actually feel something kick inside of me and then feel murder inside of me. No. They're doing it because, again, they didn't know they were fucking pregnant. Someone said, I have no health insurance. I'm basically a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Actually, the head, and then you just bring them out in, in pieces. Um... You can tell when you've when you've crushed the head because the white brains leak out. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, dude. Shut up. <laughs> we need abortion to save women's lives. Hear it all the time. For nine years, I worked at a medical center where it, it's what's called a tertiary referral center. It's a hospital that is equipped with the doctors and the equipment to take care of high-risk pregnancies. We don't do this in every hospital because it's too expensive. So for the record, viability outside of the womb is not a decent enough fucking metric for when someone should be able to get an abortion. Because if that was the case, in the future, we're probably going to be able to fucking literally have pregnancies outside of the fucking uh, body. Okay, so does that mean that, like, life actually begins at conception? Life actually begins the moment a fucking sperm is able to fertilize an egg? No, obviously not, because that is completely irrelevant to the main conversation of someone who already has the fucking thing inside of them and wants to abort it, okay? And obviously, the greatest example of this always is uh, you never look at, like, in vitro fertilization, right? In vitro fertilization is a process in which, like, you, you're, basically, uh, you're basically fertilizing an egg outside of the body, right? Um, for, for numerous complications, to avoid numerous complications, like some carriers can't do that. Um, and in that process, you are literally trying and failing and having millions and millions of, of murders, baby murders. In vitro fertilization is a process in which, like, uh, you're trying maybe even a thousand times, and that means, like, there's a thousand fertilized eggs that don't turn into a fucking uh, a, a baby, right? But you would never look at that and go, that's murder. That's like a baby murder happening. Right? So we have centers where this occurs all through the country. And where I worked was a tertiary referral center. And for nine years, 
as a pro-life obstetrician gynecologist, I worked in a medical center like this. I saw it all. I mean, severe heart disease, cancers, out of control diabetes, preeclampsia. I mean, these are dangerous pregnancies. Pregnancy can be very dangerous. But there's a point to be made about this. We yeah, especially in America, dog. So what's up? We should just like murder moms. Fuck it. it dude, honestly, yeah. Here, my new bill. I'm a Republican legislator. My new bill is if you're a woman and you got pregnant, I'm going to, we're just going to murder you. Sorry. Like, we're just accelerating the process. We don't really give a fuck. We're just doing it for cruelty anyway. You know what I mean? That's like the, that's the ultimate goal. Pregnancy out of wedlock, murder. Pregnancy out of wedlock, dude. I'm cutting out the middle, man. That's my, my goal is literally the fucking, you know, punish and harm women. So. We need abortion to save women. My friend consumed his twin in the womb. He should be charged with homicide. Yeah. Great example. What happens in that situation? What happens in that situation? Is that a homicide? Wow. The baby came out a murderer before it even fucking turned into a baby. Fucked up. Lives. Really? The vast majority of times that a pregnancy becomes dangerous to a woman with m many of these conditions. There are a few cases early in pregnancy we can talk about those. But the vast, vast, vast number of these cases occur after 22 weeks when the baby's viable. I have termin as a pro-life obstetrician gynecologist and almost 10 years of experience in a tertiary medical center. I have terminated, i.e. ended, hundreds of pregnancies to save women's lives. How many babies did I have to deliberately kill in the process? None, not even one. It's called delivery. When the lady comes in, for instance, with that preeclampsia patient, 27 weeks pregnant, real case, her blood pressure is 220 over 160. And we've got to get her delivered now because the only way to, to cure preeclampsia is to end the pregnancy. We're going to deliver this baby by cesarean section because it would be fast. I can do that within an hour. And we're going to take care of the both of them and we're going to just have to leave it in God's hands. And we did exactly that. We stabilized her, delivered her, and she and the baby ultimately did great. So I had no idea. I had no idea. That's what went on. First trimester, second trimester, third trimester. Um, yeah. And I feel like it's so necessary for people to know. Yeah. Because I think that if this is what's going to happen, the media and news outlets and people can just downplay it. Yeah. And, and even with, like, the little bit that I did. I don't understand. What, like, why does that guy not go to jail? It, did I miss something? Did I misunderstand something? Like, can you put on the vine again? I hate seeing this guy with his T-shirt. That's how he gets you, dummy. You saw him shirtless, so now you're more inclined to believe him, though. Okay, anti-choice motherfuckers are going to start saying that every death is an abortion because it's afterbirth abortion and therefore abortion is the only cause of death. Bro, they need to stop having children. How many kids do they have? They have like 12 children, bro. Stop it. Like literally stop it. It's fucking, you need to be stopped at a certain point. Someone needs to be like, no, you're not. We're forcibly aborting your fucking children the, you're the next child that you want to have we're aborting you okay seriously no just hearing she's it pregnant right now bro okay dude okay that's dude holy shit dude what the fuck she's she this is just her thing like she just like straight up was like i'm i i had one when i was 19 and i was like i can't stop it's like pringles dude once you pop you cannot fucking stop dude It's, it's over. Like, that's her kink, which is disgusting. Gross. Why are you subjecting us to your fucking nasty little cishet kink of wanting to fucking breed like a goddamn cow, dude? Holy fuck. I'm hearing his stories and just the details of it was such a different experience just hearing him say that, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And it opens up your eyes. Mm -hmm. Like, people are like, oh, man, people that get abortions are getting, like, getting them, like, fucking, uh, you know, they're popping three at a time or whatever. It's like, no, how about this, dude? This is way weirder than that. This shit's way weirder, bro. You're having, like, nine kids, dude. It's not like the fucking dark ages. You don't need to, 
use their little fingers to toil the land. They're not dying of fucking dysentery and shit or smallpox. Fuck's wrong with you? Why are you trying to have nine children, you fucking cow? What is wrong with you, dude? Stop it. I mean, actually stop it, please. That's very suspicious. You know, like you hear the word abortion and I feel like it's become so normalized and I'm glad that- we Bro, there is no fucking- Yo, I just realized there is no fucking shortage of baby formula. This fucking family bought it all, dude. Okay? Someone needs to investigate the, the LeBrant family, okay? They have all the baby formula. What are they hiding? What are they hiding? People always used to talk about like China's one child policy and how they would like bury the fucking female, uh, uh, you know, babies and shit like alive or whatever, which I never really understood. Like why they should just like aborted them, right? It's like, no, they should do that. The LeBrant family should follow the the one child policy going forward okay just that have conversations about it but like what well, where's the truth at yeah well the truth is here's someone who's performed a thousand of them yeah you know instead of someone telling you you know what they think it is or like you, you hear all these different i don't want to say lies but you just hear all these different variations of what an abortion is well let's just go to the source yeah you know and like yeah. you go to the source and it's like okay that's what it is mm -hmm. so here's a crazy thought I would not be here today if my grandma did not choose life for my mom. As a matter of Oh, dude, why are you giving us a fantasy to work off of? This is like making me more pro-abortion than I was originally. Like, that's fire. Let me just say something, okay? When my father, my father was uh, going to the London School of Economics to get a fucking PhD in the fake science of of economics okay my mother was pregnant with me and went to the oibrov doctor okay there is like i guess like a family like general practitioner in like every neighborhood and their local gp okay was like this baby is not going to make it you need to abort it and that's what they said okay that's me and then my mom was like, nah, we're going to keep it. We're going to fuck it. YOLO. We're going to fucking pop this out. Okay. I don't give a fuck. And let me tell you something. If they had it and I would have been aborted. Okay. Who gives a fuck? I would not have been alive. I don't give a shit. I have no way of like comprehending what that would look like. Who cares? Who fucking cares? You know what I mean? What the fuck? What's wrong with this guy? No skin off my bones, motherfucker. I'd be, I would not be a thing, okay? In fact, her story is wild. I sat down with her to talk about it. You're about to hear it, but her story is so beautiful because it shows the generational impact of choosing, yes, I'm going to keep this baby. Well, when my mother was around 18 years old, she found herself pregnant and with no family except a brother that would take her in and take care of her and she delivered me and kept me for four months and really wanted to keep me but times were very hard in 52 and she was a waitress and i was sick and uh, trying to afford to take care of me and take me to the doctor there wasn't a lot of help back then for uh, any kind of supplements or anything, so she chose to give me up. But she first good choice was she chose to let me live, and so uh, I was okay. Okay, it's so boring. I don't care about this part. If my grandma did not decide to keep my mom, not only would I not be here, but my kids wouldn't be here. Why is this motherfucker making more pro-abortion arguments throughout this entire process? Is it just like? I mean, he's literally like, you know, fire. Okay, cool. I, I thought this was an anti-abortion documentary, not a pro-abortion documentary. Sick. And one day, my kids' kids, and my kids' kids' kids, and so on. Saying yes to keeping your baby affects so much more than you could ever imagine.
it's so important to rally around these women in a time where they feel so vulnerable. Um, in my granny's case, it was her dad who was able to chase off these men. And I'm thankful for my great granddad who I never even got to meet because if he didn't chase them off, I wouldn't be here. So there's so many little pieces that we just- Wait, what? There was like someone who's like forcibly trying to make your grandmother abort? Time travelers, it's me. In 2030, I've invented time travel and I'm going back to try to abort him uh, by, by stopping his grandma from having... Uh, <laughs> By stopping his grandma from having his mom. It's me, dude. It's me and chat. We went back in time and we failed, okay? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Just need to rally around these women to remind them, even if it's just one person saying, hey, you can do this. Hey, I'm here with you. It's going to be okay. We found a ministry called Embrace Grace, and this is exactly what they do every single day. Amy Ford, the founder, is determined to help scared <coughs> pregnant women be brave. Yeah. In the church, um, the abortion rate is exactly the same inside the church as it is outside the church. There's mm -hmm. no difference. So these women are sitting... Dude, the worst... What's going on, dude? I hate that the fucking Christian movement is like... They've decided that at the top of the hour, there isn't a 60 second ad break. And I'm here to tell you that there actually is, even though it's 15 minutes in and I totally forgot to run it. So I'm going to run it right now. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime, right? Um, or get gifted a sub. Uh, you know, that's one other way. That's one other method that you can avoid those ads, right? Uh, here's the woman ad break now. But, um, why is the Christian movement like trying to fucking make themselves look hip, dude? You're still saying weird ass shit. Like you can wear like a cool hat or whatever, but like you're still literally like, I don't think women should be able to get an abortion if they want to. Which is fucking crazy. Sitting in our pews and scared, don't really know what to do. And, and even with my own story, I went to church every single week. I did it not cross my mind that I'm pregnant. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll go to the church and thank ask you. Ella T D and for the five, get this guidance, up. prayer, support, yeah. something like it's the last place you want to go to. So we started embrace grace as a pro love movement where we want the church to be one of the first places a girl runs to. These guys are such twisted little fucking freaks, too. Like, they're trying to make it... They're trying to put, like, a positive spin on what their ultimate goal is. And their ultimate agenda is literally to deny, like, fucking 14-year-olds from being able to get this, like, medical procedure that's available everywhere else. So, you can fucking spin this all day, every day, and talk about, like, I'm doing this because of love. It's like, no, you don't have any fucking care or consideration for your fellow human being, you disgusting, twisted little freak. You can wear all the boho hats on the fucking planet. You can, like, you know, film this shit in front of your beautifully crafted, live, laugh, love, ass looking home, okay? But ultimately, your goal is disgusting, okay? Your goal is to treat women like the fucking cow sitting a a across from you, because every woman needs to be that way, okay? You have the choice to literally fucking go out the pasture and pop babies out, like, nonstop, okay? You're a fucking incubator, okay? Fine. You are half cow, half woman. That's okay. That's your sick fucking twisted little breeder choice. But let other people that do not want to carry pregnancy to term to stop that with a medical procedure. It doesn't matter how you spin it. It doesn't matter if you turn around and you go, oh, my God, like... This is actually about love. This is about love. Look at all the look at all the babies that you know uh, are are around right now. Every single baby that wasn't aborted is a person that you know and love. It's like yeah, okay. Well, there's plenty of fucking people that are awful, disgusting little freaks too. Okay. You're scaring me today. It just like pisses me off so much how nefarious they are, and they're putting like a positive spin on something that is otherwise insane. Okay. Instead of the last because of shame and guilt. Yeah. Um, we want the church to be like an oasis and a sanctuary for these women. That if they're scared and they don't really know what to do, then we want the church to be a safe place for them. And then also, you know, if they end up choosing abortion, we don't want them to. 
But if they do, we believe the church should be a safe place for them to, to go to as well for healing and for uh, healing support groups. But we started Embrace Grace and it's for women with unexpected pregnancies to find hope, community, support. They meet other girls going through the same thing that they are. Um, there are support groups all over the nation, so any church can just press play and have this digital amazing curriculum. And then pregnancy centers or even just word of mouth, they send these. Bro, this is literally, this is terrifying, dude. If they are pro-life, then by default, they have to accept every leftist goal, universal access, universal health care, less war, social housing, free preschool, and paid family leave since those things help preserve life. I mean, these people might actually be in favor of that. I don't know. I don't think they're super, like, ideologically invested in, like, being fucking uh, Trump-loving conservatives or anything. I think it's just, like, fucked up in the head about abortion. That's it. Um, they might not be. It, this is literally liberalizing conservatism. Yesterday's convo was spot on. Oh, yeah, no, this is this is... It's bodies and spaces. They're like, um, can we do a, can we do standpoint theory on the fucking standpoint of a fetus? Can we do bodies? In, can you not do bodies and spaces right now as someone who was already alive when we're having a conversation of the unborn? Like that's, that's basically what they're fucking doing. Too much college as Felix puts it. Right. Girls that are struggling with an unexpected pregnancy and then they get to, they, they're not alone anymore. They feel um, heard, they feel loved, and they meet other girls going through the same thing that they are. They might all have super unique stories, but they all come together with this common bond of not expecting to be in the situation that they're in right now. After a conversation with Amy, we were just so encouraged and blown away by all the resources available. In fact, you can actually click the link in the top of our description box down below, type in your zip code, and just get involved right away. So what if you're pursuing your dreams, your career, you're going to school, and then an unexpected pregnancy happens? What do you do? So we actually got to sit down with Shanice, who was faced with those exact same circumstances. And this is what she did. I didn't really grow up in the church. Um, I started... You know, having a relationship with God probably like 14, 15, but it became real for me. Um, and then I ended up moving to, you know, Texas about eight years ago. And so while I was here, you know, I, just, I started to feel like lonely in a lonely season. Um, you know, there was a lot of things that happened since I had moved to Texas. You know, at one point I was in a homeless shelter for a few months. You know, I just started showing out, talking to all the guys, you know. One of my, my good friends, she was in college. I was coming back from her thing that she had going on. And I just felt so sick. I'm the type of person that like, I'm not gonna wait it out. I need to know what's going on right then and there. So I went to the emergency room. I remember the doctor just came on out like it was just normal. He was like, oh, you're sick because you're pregnant. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? And so I remember just, you know, crying. I don't even remember not crying. I just cried the whole time I was there. And then, you know, I just sat in the car, just literally sat in the car in tears. And. Oh, this is so boring, dude. I don't care. Give me some good shit. Like, uh, uh, I cried when I had a baby and then I didn't have the baby and it was so terrible. Just to relax and feel that really absolutely such incredible. and your dreams too she's pursuing this bro this is literally more boring than i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be like freak shit you know what i mean i i, I am very underwhelmed at the lack of freak shit in here it's just like uh -huh, my anecdotes like dude it's wonderful i'm happy that you like chose n to have a baby okay you're one cold motherfucker man let my fail respect well i mean i just don't care like people make decisions all day every day okay you don't fucking see everybody crying about like you know, taking a left turn instead of a right. That's the that's the difference here, okay? You you understand that, right? Like you make tiny fucking differences or 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 tiny choices every day and you have no fucking way of comprehending exactly uh you have no way of comprehending exactly how that's going to turn out. I don't care about like being like, "Oh, I'm pregnant and then I decided not to have it." Bam bam bam. Like, "Okay, sick, dude. Sick." Like, you should be able to have that choice. If you want to carry a pregnancy to term, that's awesome. Okay, more power to you. Uh, the only time I'm going to say you're fucking weirdo is after the ninth child for your YouTube clicks. Okay, at that point, I'm going to be like, stop it. Fucking sew that shit up. What the fuck's wrong with you? Holy fuck. Okay, have you heard of a fucking condom? You freak. Have you heard? It was like, okay, you don't like having sex with condoms? Fine. Neither do I. Uh, I don't know. Get your shit tied. Okay, get your tubes tied. 
Get your fucking, uh, you know, take birth control. Something, okay? Something. Sew it up. Sew something up. Because holy fuck, you can't control yourself. So, that is... Like, that is the only time I'll ever fucking, uh, you know, say something about it. But other than that, like, who cares? Famous journal killed by the IDF, but we're supposed to worry about penny salamanders? Uh, I covered it yesterday for hours, dude. This bomb mom's career, and we just wanted to invest into that and sew into her because she's doing it right now. Yeah. Sick. They found, like... You know... Just like I thought, I would help me. Um, I went there and, and um, I started going to church and embraced grace. And I, I never met these women, never. You know, they weren't high school friends of mine. They were just people that were there. And I went there and they're about you bringing in the baby. Because it's looking at possibility. Because he is okay, this is super boring. About Come on, get to the good stuff. Get to the good stuff. Well, oh, God, look at how ugly this shit is. What does it say? Restore a maker. Doctors will not do a tubal ligation if you are young. Seriously, it's almost impossible to have done it. Giving the black person fucking racist. Yeah, Keemstar was right. What is this live, laugh, love ass shit in the background? Restoter, Waymaker, Light Blissel, Truth Teller. If you need help, or just somebody to talk to, keep in mind that pregnancy centers are located all throughout the country. These facilities. Yeah, dude, you know what else is located all throughout the country? Fucking abortion clinics, okay? Suck my dick, you fucking freaks. Yeah, hey guys, if you have a, if you're in the, you know, if you're interested in having an abortion, uh, go to a fucking place where they just lie to you instead. Like, they legally lie to you uh, and, and try to actively discourage you and convince you uh, to not having, um, you know, to not... Uh, having an abortion and carrying the pregnancy to term instead of course will they help you after you carry the pregnancy to term fuck no you fucking idiot the baby's on his own i'll kick the baby directly in the head i'm a conservative dude fucking kidding me make sure that fucking goddamn baby knows how to work in the fucking coal mines all right i don't give a fuck will you get any sort of fucking financial help in the government fuck no you fucking poor bitch Get fucked, eat shit, and die. You understand me? I don't give a fuck. You think your baby is going to get access to public education that's like affordable, uh, that's, that's appropriate? Absolutely not. If you're born in a fucking poor neighborhood, your broke ass is not going to get any kind of fucking education, okay? Fuck you. And you're going to take time off work, and now you're fucked up, okay? Now you got even less money, dumbass. I'm a conservative. That's just my, my you know worldview sorry it's your fault facilities are completely free and are filled with people that are if they would would that change your opinion on abortion absolutely not of course it wouldn't but at least they would be like a little bit more consistent and also if they did care about that because there are a lot of fucking pro-life like you know there are christian uh, there are christian socialists for example right there are pro-life people that are in the socialist movement, as a matter of fact. Do you think they're fucking hyper-focusing on making sure that every woman everywhere is carrying every pregnancy to term? No, because they're actually fucking pro-life, okay? So when you're actually pro-life, you're not working every goddamn day tirelessly to deny, like, actual fucking medical, uh, uh, a, a medical function, like, a, a important part of, like, comprehensive healthcare for women uh, uh, in, in women's reproductive health 